In the long term, fuel cells will ultimately replace combustion engines in a variety of different applications um, that they're used in. So, for instance, in automotive applications, replacing the engines in cars, but they can also be used to generate um, heat and electricity in the home, or even actually to provide backup power for generators and that kind of application. Fuel cells are a bit like batteries, but instead of having stored energy in them, they take a fuel from externally, react that with oxygen and create electricity directly. If you looked at something like a normal conventional diesel engine, burning hydrocarbons isn't a really good thing to do, whereas fuel cells are very clean, they take the energy from the hydrogen straight away and create electricity as you need it. One of the biggest reasons why fuel cells are expensive is the catalyst that is actually breaking up the hydrogen and oxygen is platinum. As you would imagine, that's really expensive and actually a scarce resource. What we're doing is we eliminate at least two thirds of the platinum by replacing that with cheaper catalysts and a different way of doing it. ACAL Energy has achieved a significant cost saving in the manufacture of hydrogen fuel cells through in-depth chemical investigation. A laboratory environment enables them to simulate how a catalyst might work in a real-world scenario. In this uh, reaction vessel is an example of a mediator that we uh, might use in the, in the fuel cell. In the catalyst itself, its role is to uh, break down the oxygen just to form water to generate the power in the fuel cell system. The rate at which the yellow solution here of this mediator might turn to a, a very convenient green that the rate at which that happens is how we monitor and evaluate uh, the performance efficiency of some of the catalysts that we investigate. For a car to be powered by a typical fuel cell, hydrogen is added to the tank, much like petrol. The fuel cell simultaneously draws in oxygen from the air and stimulates an electrochemical reaction with the catalyst to provide electricity. The byproducts of creating this electricity are simply water and heat. The core of our people and our intellectual property is around the chemistry and the different catalysts that we're working on. But clearly we've then got to make sure that the chemistry works within uh, an engineered system. OK, so this is ACAL's 50 watt demonstrator. Basically what we're seeing is a, a mini power plant. Uh, it's been designed to produce enough power to power itself and produce a small surplus to power the sign that you can see operating here. This is where the hydrogen enters the system, so we, we monitor and regulate the hydrogen flow and pressure, which then feeds into the, the stack here, which through the, uh, the chemical reaction, we produce the, the, electric, the electrical current, the power uh, that, that powers the system. As long as you supply it with hydrogen, it will keep running and running and running and running indefinitely. Fuel cells are an ideal energy solution for the future because they provide continuous power. At the moment, they are limited in output, but continued investment is changing the market. The base load of electricity that you need in a house is between one and two kilowatts. So we're building a one kilowatt electricity uh, unit. The Comtros are actually helping with that through their R&D programme. The incubator programme has absolutely been an important part of how we've developed the company from us and an idea um, right through to um, the technology as it is today. The Carbon Trust clearly a place that we could go to to make sure that the technology that we were working with was as good as we thought it was. Um, their intellectual capability in assessing that and what they know is out there made us feel very confident that what we were doing would be different and worth taking forward. So you do need to be very clear in your mind um, why you're better, why, you're, why it's worth the Carbon Trust supporting you, but once they do, they've been really great in helping you take the company forward. Clearly, energy for the future is a, a fantastic commercial opportunity.